because I'm a father of two daughters that gave me the willies. That's how subject matter bothers me. But you handled it really nice. Thanks. I have speed. Speed. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. You know, Michelle, you've done a disservice to all these pretty little girls around America that think they can win a beauty contest and then come out here and be a mogul. You really have made this look pretty easy when you look at the career path, and I know it wasn't easy, but you've made it look pretty easy. I did? Mm hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you make that turn? I mean, you were on these little movies like Hollywood Nights and those uh -huh. kind of things. How did you make that turn from those kind of parts that all these pretty girls are offered out here, they're dime a dozen almost rolls, to doing something with a lot of substance? How'd you do that? Um, well, I always studied in between jobs and, um, you know, I have my father's worth e ethic, really, and he always said to me, no matter what you do, do it the best that you can. And that's all I wanted to do, is I wanted to be the best at what I do. And um, um, and I think also, I, I, you know, I think it was, it was a, an honest choice for me to become an actress. It really fit, it really fits me. And I think that if you make honest choices in your life, then then you will succeed at what you do and I think that it will feed you and you you know you will get better at what you do and um, benefit from that um, you know at the time were you just happy to be able to get those first parts really and you were was. thrilled about it well yes and no I wasn't happy um, playing the bombshell on my first television series mm -hmm. you know I wasn't happy um, I wasn't happy with a lot of the earlier parts that I got. However, I was happy to be, to be supporting myself and making a living mm -hmm. and working. And I had, I always had another agenda for myself, my long-term goals, and I always kept that in mind. And I always tried to make the best choices that that I could, given the limited uh, possibilities that I. Uh, you Is know. this why when I would see you, and I'd see you sometimes? Maybe you didn't see me. You would dress down a lot. You almost looked like a, not a bag woman, <laughs> but I mean, you would really downplay the looks part. You would wear like drab looking clothes so people would listen to you and not look at you? Well, it's, it's twofold, really. Firstly, I like dressing like that. <laughs> and I, I mean, I always, I don't find, um, I guess, uh, your sort of typical glamour look all that interesting, really you know, the sort of conventional, I mean, so I've never really been interested in that. Um, but I do know that there was, there was a, a period in the beginning where I did, I did go in dressed a certain way. Because the truth of the matter was is I was treated differently if I dressed a certain way. Now, you know, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. so much. I can kind of dress however I want, but... Um, but you still play down. I mean, look at you. This is like one of the most beautiful women that's ever been put on the block. And I just wonder sometimes if you really realize what you've got, you know? I know your husband sure does. He's a lucky man. Yeah, he's, well, we're both lucky. But it's, it's that I know that people want to play you one way. And I'm, do you, are you comfortable in going to these photo shoots and doing this sex pot stuff? I felt like such a fool doing that. And I, I really did. I left kind of feeling demoralized. <laughs> I did. I did. Next, I, I see, just men, felt we don't I understand that foolish. at all. Because you don't like being. You just don't. That doesn't. That's I just, just not felt, you. No, I just felt foolish. Oh, okay. Well, we. I enjoyed it vicariously. <laughs> did the mom thing? Has that really absolutely changed your life more so than anything you've ever done in Hollywood? Completely. Completely. Yeah. Is added substance to your life? Would you say? Because this is a very superficial business, really, pretending to be somebody else. I mean, you know, we have to accept what it is. It's a well, lot it of fun. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, you know, I, I think that you can make choices that give mm -hmm. back, and um, you can make choices that take away. And, you know, um, I guess, depending on the choices that you make, it can add some, some substance to what you do. But for me, I think that having children was the missing link for me and I think um, you know I was you know I was a happy person you know I had friends I had really good family and um, 
great career and um, but I definitely um, felt that something was missing now for me is, for me I mean it's not right yeah. for everyone but for me it was right for me to be a mother and I knew it for a mm -hmm. long time and now the trick is raising them in a crazy world it's scary you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it, it worries you yeah a lot. you know and you always have that little worry no matter if they're with you or not it's scary isn't it you wonder how well, our parents did it is what I always wonder how my parents you know what it it seems I mean I know that it was scary for our parents and it, you know it always but I, I think that it, there's kind of a viciousness to the world now that they didn't have you know there was still a little bit of an innocence um, we well, just remember when we were kids we forget about this Khrushchev was banging on his chair saying he was going to nuke us all so every generation mm -hmm. it, it was bad back then too we just think it's bad because it's us so it's not that bad mm -hmm. and plus they got you as a mom nice seeing you again all right were you around? You know, I do. I remind myself that as a parent. I mean, when I.